Today is uh, Thursday, September 19th, 2024, and this is our video devotional here at Covenant Keepers Ministries for this day. I'm reading again the text we're using all week in Psalms 19, 7 through 9, and the purpose and intent is that we'll understand there's great blessings that accompany our living life God's way. So it teaches us in Psalms 19 <clears throat> that God's law will do certain things to us. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul or reviving the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The statutes of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. And the fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. And the judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. The word of God brings us into fellowship with God through the blood of Jesus Christ. And when we know God and we know him by his word, we understand as we study the word of God, who God is, his character, or his characteristics, how he loves us, how he sent his son to die on the cross for us. He didn't want us to stay in the bondage of sin. And the more we know God, certain blessings begin to follow. And when we follow God and live life his way, there's implied blessings that come. Here's the first, a clear conscience. I want you to think about that, a clear conscience. The blood of Jesus Christ cleanses the believer's conscience that one might serve God without guilt in full assurance that what God says that we would live with him eternally is true. Hebrews 9.14, how much more shall the blood of Christ who through the eternal spirit offered himself without spot to God, purge your conscience from dead works to serve the living God. <clears throat> I can't tell you how important to your health is a clear conscience is. There's, there's no way to measure it. When your conscience is clear, your guilt has been removed. You don't go around living life cowering at everything that comes your way. It produces peace when you have a clear conscience. It's a facilitator of inspiration. It's a clearing house for good. A right relationship with God produces guiltlessness. A clear conscience. Here's a blessing. Think about it today. That if you come to Jesus and you believe what he's done, will take away your sin. Your conscience is clear by the blood of Jesus Christ. Secondly, strong relationships. Another blessing. Strong relationships are gendered by love. Since God is love and we are in a healthy and vibrant relationship with him, the offsprings of that is strong relationship with others. And I'm not going to go read it. I, I should probably do it, but for time's sake, I won't today. And many of you would stay with me because 1 John chapter 4 is a chapter that needs to be read over and over again. We love God because he first loved us. And as a result, we love others. Strong relationships happen. Nothing supports security and safety in our emotions more than strong relationships. So first, getting right connected to the Father God, our creator, who we were designed to be related to, but sin destroyed that, getting right connected through Jesus Christ. All of a sudden, we got a strong relationship with our creator, and then in Christ, we have acceptance and belonging. And from that basis, from that basis that we're accepted by God and we belong in his family, we're confident to build other healthy relationships. Another blessing. <laughs> I'm telling you, blessings just overflow when you live life God's way. Here's a third one. Healthy self-esteem. Over the course of ministry in various churches that I pastored in the past 60 years of my life, I, I, have, I discovered early on when I was a teenager that how I see myself is locked up in my relationship with Christ. I will have a healthy self-image, self-esteem, 
when I'm properly related to God. And when you and I fully discover that we have a friend, oh, praise God, who will never leave us nor forsake us, whose only interest is for us to become like him, and only desires the best for us, we become some of the most secure people on the planet. Oh yeah, we still have ups and downs in life and, and situations and circumstances change, but what's inside secures us because we've been accepted by God, loved by God, and we're a part of his family. And that personal, that personal fulfillment and security is a blessing. We see ourselves as tied to Jesus. I, I see the blessings of God flow as streams of living water to those who obey God and know him. Through the cleansing blood of Jesus Christ, we become guiltless. We develop strong, healthy relationships. And we carry this sense and mark of the Holy Spirit, knowing our identity is found in Christ, not in anything that we've ever done. One of my lifetime verses is found in 2 Timothy 1.7 and it is so true. For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and a sound mind. So I'm going to pose a question to you. Why would we ever rob ourselves intentionally of the blessing that God affords us in knowing him and living in right relationship with him? Why would we ever want to violate God's law? Why would we not just devour, study, meditate, memorize, pray over the words that God's given us so we could walk in those ways, so they'd be implanted deep in our soul? Our heart and our mind would follow suit and say, oh God, there's only one thing I really want to do and that's please you. So help me walk in your ways. Why would we rob ourselves intentionally of God's blessing by not living life that way? I, I want to tell you, that I think there's so much more for each of us to experience and enjoy by living life according to God's plan. Let God uncover his plan for you as you read and study his word, as you seek his face daily, and as you live life according to the principles explained in God's word and spoken to your heart by the Holy Spirit. So I'm asking that question again I started with. Are God's benefits in your life decreasing or increasing? I, Father, want to thank you for your word and your ways. And I want to walk in your ways. I want to stay steady, consistent, faithful, persevering in your ways. Because I know the blessings. They're not marked by dollar signs or possessions I have, but there's something internally and eternally that saturates my soul and flows out of me because I'm connected securely to you through what you've instructed me and how I've come to know you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I pray that I pray that knowing you and obeying you and living according to your plan be all over everyone who watches these video devotions this week in Jesus' name. Amen. Grace and peace over you today. God bless you and live according to God's plan. Have a great day.